So we've created the map, but nothing's happening. And here it is, right? Here's the map. Now what we need to do is we need to say, use the map. So we need to go up into the image itself and we're going to add a new attribute in the image itself. And that attribute is use map. And then we tell it which map it is. And so we have to identify the map itself. And the way that we do that is in the map, we need to give it a name. So we need to say the name equals, and what do we want to call this? We want to call this family underscore map. And that's going to be the name of it. And that's what we'll do up here. We'll say use the map and you use the pound sign, right? The hashtag and then family map underscore map. Now this went long again, right? So when I save it, it's going to drop those attributes one after another, but we're still inside the image tag. And what we said, first we gave a name to the map so we could identify which map to use. And then in the image, we said use map and set that property there. Now, if we save that, and now we go back and refresh. What we have here is notice how the cursor changed from an arrow to a hand. And if we click that, it goes to Eco's page. And then we can return. And if we click here, it goes to Mika's page. And if we click on this area, now you can kind of see where the area begins and end when that cursor changes, right? And so it's a rectangle area on top of his face. And we click on that and it goes to his page. And then we click up here on his face and it goes to his page. And every one of them we can click on and go. So we've created an image map that has links and the links are active on certain areas of the image. And then we identified to use that map by adding a use map attribute to the image. All of this done in HTML.